It's not a car, little girl. It's an owl. <laughs> to check out my new merch store. Link will be in the description. Have a good day. Hello everyone and welcome to part one of the Parenthood Let's Play. This may or may not be a mini Let's Play because I'm just, you know, it's just the game pack so it's not like full-on expansion but I do kind of want to go through everything because I'm super excited. So let me introduce you to my Goyles. Let me introduce you. So we have Miss Mom right here. We have little Molly Winter. And her beautiful only child, Carly Winter. I already love them to death. Check it out. We already got parenting level one. We're going to read that in just a minute. I want to do a quick disclaimer that all my toddlers have like demon eyes like this. Like they're just like super vibrant. It'll change when she ages up into something normal. But for some reason, there's some weird glitch. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. So Molly is just moving into the city. Barely has any money to her name. Just got this little apartment. It's unfurnished. We have to furnish it still, which means we're going to have even less money once we're done furnishing. And the struggle is real. She has to take care of Carly. And um, yeah, so the struggle is pretty real. But here is their empty apartment. Uh, I, I believe it has three bedrooms. This is considered a bedroom. I thought it was a bathroom, to be honest with you, because it's so small. But uh, apparently it can be used. It can be used as whatever. But there's a bedroom over there. One little tiny, tiny bathroom. Uh, kitchen and living room area is over here. It's like all open and then another bedroom and then this weird Weird shaped room, but the first thing we're gonna do is uh, Furnish it a little bit. So what I decided was that this would be Molly's room uh, It's like I don't this little spot right here is pretty cool I don't know what we're gonna put right there, but I think it's pretty neat uh, And then this can be like an office She is really really into music and I'll go over their traits in just a minute. She is really into music and kind of like, it's it's like that, you know, that ongoing struggle where like she really wants to pursue music, but at the same time, she was always told that it wasn't a good idea to try to like pursue a career in music because it's like a very low chance that you'll succeed. You know, that kind of, that kind of weird, weird life, life thing where you have to think about what you're going to do realistically or whatever, but she still wants to try, you know, she's, she's really, really dedicated, uh, but that's what I was thinking about making this room into is like a music room. But anyways, this room over here, which is huge, <laughs> I think is going to be Carly's room. Only because I like this room and I like the little indention. I thought it would be nice for uh, Holly. I mean Molly. Jeez. I just, I was sitting there like going between Molly and Holly for so long. Now I'm probably going to call her both multiple times. Anyways, going to get to furnishing real quick. You know what? Actually, I am going to switch these. I'm going to let this one be Carly's room and then that one over there be Molly's room. Uh, just because I think this would actually work better for like an adult. And this would probably work better as like a kid's room because this could be a little section for playing. I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking that. Plus, I have these little cloud lights in here and I think they're so cute. But anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, start a little, little short time lapse on this. So here we go.
Alrighty, the decorating is finished. I went a little bit overboard, <laughs> as I expected that I would, because, um, I can't be trusted. So what I forgot is that most apartments do already come with like kitchens and bathrooms installed. You know, it's like obviously a pretty, uh, pretty normal thing. So uh, I went like, I just kind of deducted that. And I know this is like a pretty nice kitchen. I was trying to replicate what my first apartment's kitchen looked like. Uh, it wasn't actually that super fancy, but I really wanted to use, um, oh wait, this isn't the right thing. What is going on with this little cabinet? Uh, I wanted to use the new, this is the wrong freaking cabinet. I wanted to use the new uh, countertops, or not countertops, what are, what are these? You get what I mean. I wanted to use the new ones, okay? Because they looked really cute, but they have like these really nice, I think they're supposed to be like marble? Question mark? Countertops? I don't know. But they looked really, um, they looked really fancy. And all of this is like in the wrong spot. I don't know what's going on. But my, my place did have an island. It wasn't like a fancy island. This one just happens to look huge. Mine was like very small, but I couldn't rec like replicate the look exactly. I just thought that looked nice, okay? It's not functional, but like it looks nice, okay? Um, and then this is like a little dining room of blah, 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 blah. English. Dining room. I assumed that was supposed to be a dining room in here, so I just put a table in there. Uh, we have the new uh, like whiteboard thing that came with the new pack. Oh, I forgot to put this back in the room. My god, I am sucking everywhere today. I can't remember to put anything where it belongs. Oh, I don't even think this will fit in here anymore. I got too much stuff in there. Hmm. Let's see, where can I put this? We can put this over here. Um, okay, so where, this is the only room where I was like, you know what, we'll leave that one pretty empty because it's like, you know, the dream, rip the dream. So she's got like this tiny little keyboard and uh, this little microphone. So that's her dream. But then this is the living room. This is a custom couch that I've literally been dying to use. I want one of these couches in real life so bad. Uh, but this is new, the little, um, uh, what is this? It holds like the, the magazines and the books. So cute. New coffee table, new fireplace. Uh, I know it's like the fireplace pretty fancy, I know, but uh, I, I couldn't resist, honestly, because it's new and I, I just wanted I just wanted it. OK, I just wanted it. Um, anything else new in here? I don't think so. I know the little building blocks table is new. Uh, I don't even know if toddlers can use this unsure but uh we have a little bathroom over here which i think is actually really fancy and i didn't mean to make it look that fancy but i think the diagonal tub like kind of gives it that illusion that it's a lot fancier than it is um yeah but then we have our little this is new right here the little uh medicine cabinet very cute the laundry basket is new the mirror oh wait nope never mind i had the i had the new mirror up there but it wasn't big enough anyways this is molly's bedroom um there's nothing on the walls i think of like anywhere maybe except for the kids room uh but not in here so i didn't focus too much on that i wanted to put a little bit of decoration in there just to make it look like it was kind of lived in but i didn't want to go too crazy because obviously i'd blow all our money so this is like all custom like every single thing right here is custom i went a little crazy uh this is custom <laughs> oh all of this is custom except for the new journal <gasps> Oh my, I'm gonna love this. Okay, so that's the new journal. This mirror is, this is all custom except for the little makeup thing down here. I believe this is new. Um, okay, so that's her room. It's not super incredibly fancy. Uh, and then over here is the kids room, which is like obviously where we wanna look at. It's kind of a big, huge mess, but I mean, what kids room isn't really? So we have the little toddler bed. Um, these are ice, like melted ice cream cone lamps. They are custom. Uh, I just, I'm obsessed. Uh, and then we have a little toilet. Uh, oh, this is new right here. The little doctor set is new. Can she use this? Oh no! Oh, it's for children, dang it. But we can play with this little, this new nightlight. This is also new. It's so tiny, it's like a little owl. But she can play with it and it can be a nightlight. So that's really cute. Um, and then this is, this little bear is custom, but this little cat is for toddlers. Obviously we have a dollhouse. She also has a um, journal for when she gets older. Uh, this mirror is new. It's too cute. Oh my god, she can talk to herself in the mirror. How cute. Um, this is new. It's like a little overflowing thing of toys. We have a little bear seat in here. This is new. 
she can't use any of this stuff until she's a child. Ugh. But it's like a little creative section, I think. And then I got the little um, uh, uh, puppet show thing because I barely used it and I actually think it's really cute. Uh, and then on the walls, which thing I gotta get gotta get in the right spot. These little night lights are new and they do move. I'm dying. They're so cute. Ah, uh, the rug is custom content. For those who are wondering, this is custom content. Um, the lights on the wall are new. Uh, the curtains are new. These little baby ones. And I believe that's it. I believe. I think this lamp is also custom. Sorry, I went on a spree one day. I made a video about it. If you want to go check it out, it's like custom content. Uh, you know shopping whatever I went a little crazy but that's like what I got going on so actually their apartment looks pretty decent I'm not gonna lie to you but we don't have any money and she doesn't have a job so you know there's that but we are gonna go um right in this journal real quick oh my god what's happening oh right 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 I forgot to tell you we already achieved the first milestone of her uh parenting aspiration which oh, I still need to go through her traits duh I'm so bad at this um she became an adult obviously and she spent a thousand dollars on kid stuff so while I was you know building and, and decorating things uh obviously we we surpassed that but now she has to become a parent which she already did uh, achieve level four parenting skill and discipline your toddler child or teen five times but I'm going to show you her traits really quick so she is a foodie a music lover and clumsy and because of her aspiration she has the domestic trait which it just means that she was she will see her family or her familial relationships grow stronger faster that's a weird trait that I don't think I've ever seen that before anyways so that's her and then for Carly her trait oh this is new I can't wait to I can't wait to look at this she's clingy which I think is pretty, pretty hard to handle sometimes. But uh, let's look at the new character values thing. I have not looked at this. I've only seen it. I haven't actually like checked it out. Um, uh, let's see. Character values determine a Sim's ability to adapt and behave effectively in everyday life. Uh, each value can be positive or negative. However, over each of the values to view interactions that the child can do to influence character values. Parents can also influence these values by using parenting interactions. So we have manners. Um, parents can teach their kids to say please and thank you. Oh my god. Negative manners are earned by burping or farting, swearing, and rude introductions. Toddlers taking their clothes off in front of strangers is also bad manners. That is so funny. Um, emotional control. Um, can do several winding down interactions. Let's see, having an emotional breakdown, shoving, or biting will neg negatively affect... Oh, geez, destroying dollhouses. Okay, so we do have the school project boxes also, which there's like a bunch of those, but I haven't uh, put any down yet because obviously I don't think we would be able to do them yet. Uh, responsibility, so that's, let's see, doing poorly in school. Ta oh, let's see, taking out trash, brushing teeth, cleaning up toys, uh, disobeying, grounding. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot we can ground them. Uh, Sims can increase their empathy by volunteering as a family, or choosing socials that help others deal with negative moods, being mean or yelling at another sim, trolling on the computer will decrease it. And then conflict resolution. Parents can teach kids to say sorry, uh, trying to fix bad relationships. Okay, okay. Or declaring enemies or despising sims can negatively affect or negatively impact it, as well as fighting or arguing. Very nice. Whew, that was a lot of reading. Uh, not even done yet. I gotta read the parenting level one. Molly can now encourage kids' behavior and influence kids to clean. She can now reprimand bad behavior by asking the child not to do that action or simply yelling at the child to stop. That's crazy. That is awesome. Let's just put her to bed right now. At 8 a.m. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We can nag her. Um... Oh, what? There's a new parenting section. Teach to, oh, teach to say sorry. Oh, that's adorable. Let's teach her to say please and thank you. I just gotta see it. I don't know why she's embarrassed. She says she was walked in on, but we like literally just moved in. What the? God, I hope this freaking thing works. Everything I've tried to do doesn't work. There's all these new um interactions also with the little parenting thing. So let me try that again. 
Adyawa and <gasps> her manners. Rapna Vimba Ibu. Look at her manners oh. going up. Habini <gasps> Dermid. <gasps> All right. Okay. I think it worked. Oh, yeah. There it is. There's a little arrow going up. It really didn't go up that much. So it seems like we really have to like work on it. So she's going to go play in her dollhouse and she's going to chill. But for no, 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 no. What I want you to do is write in your journal, girl. Confess those, confess those embarrassing thoughts. Confess. I want to see the confessions. I'm very excited for this. Oh, she gets a writing skill from this? Cool. Oh, Bahira. Oh, and it like look it's uh Shana it's making the mood let go away. This is so cool. I love the journal idea. I think that's really cool. So she can build on this, but she can't. Yeah. So I'm thinking this is only for children and up. Also with this. Looks like she can't do a whole lot of things. I really wish she could do the doctor thing. She's gonna go watch her mom. Look at her trying to walk. <laughs> oh, we, d we didn't even look at this. Set curfew. I guess we don't actually need to set a curfew yet. Considering um, we only have an infant. I don't think she's going to be leaving the house. She's like so spooked by everything. Why is she so spooked? Maybe it's just her being clumsy. That could be it. I haven't had a clumsy sin sin so, oh my god sim in a really long time so uh give a talking to is that bad i guess there's only one way to find out oh yeah it looks bad is it bad farg ebso nava ebso i don't know but let's go meet these people out here Let's go invite our neighbors in. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. There we go. Can we go talk to them? There we go. Dimpish bombzoy. Nabakuzip? Ha ha, quink! Zitorb. There we go. Come on in. <laughs> Why is everybody so scared when they walk in here? What is what is wrong with everybody? Why is everybody acting so shifty? It's my first day here. Y'all better chill. I am trying to meet some people, trying to have a good time. Thank you for coming. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Thanks Yali? for coming. Varobi Muma. Oh, okay, she keeps the journal so. in her inventory, so there we go. Barangi? Glad Dizzy we got a chance Bodna. to chat. Oh. Me too, because you are fabulous. You are one of my favorite oh. townies in the whole game. Bane. See, she's like terrified of us. Like what? Is it our hair? Uh-huh. Oh, he's like, he's like, oh, I just moved in. Uh. Right, right, just moved in. Arvini. She's like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting a tank and actually blowing up the place. It's going to be great. I'm going to throw away my life. Um... So yeah, the good conversation. Good conversation. Uh -huh. These people live in this building? Oh, I didn't even show you where we lived, by the way. Oh, I can't travel. But we live in the uh, arts district, so that's I thought was fitting for her. Um, there were cheaper apartments other places, but I thought this was just really fitting since we could come out here and do some artsy stuff. See that we have like these little these little places right here where they can set up and play for tips and stuff. I thought that would be really cool for her to do once she kind of learned her music skill a little bit more. Why is everybody being so shifty? Talk to stranger. Um, I don't know if we should, but let's go do it. Let's go talk to stranger. Maybe we can tell her about stranger danger. Uh -huh. Talk to her. Do it. <laughs> She's kind of just like in on the conversation. Yeah, she's just in on the conversation. So I wonder if we can tell her like, I wonder if there's stranger danger. 
I kind of want there to be. <laughs> we can hug. What else can we do? Uh, hug lovingly. Um, let's see. Anything new? Oh, we can be mean to her, which would be horrible. Uh, I think that's it for now. Pando? <laughs> Samzo. Make funny faces. Oh, that's new. Smart. Tuga. Oh. Hope y'all don't mind if she just. Yes. Why is she so scared of everything? Him too. All of them. You're seeing this, right? They're all like literally freaked out. Okay, everybody. We're having a nice time. Thanks for coming again. You can leave at any time. Simba Wand. This is my child. She's small. She's small. Alright, I think I'm gonna like... Try to say goodbye to everybody. Um... Yeah, let's just end the social event. Thanks, guys. Get out of here. Please leave. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm not sure what those noises are. Like, what? what it's like... It's like we're doing something good, but we're not really doing anything. Also, I did just see her fart. So can I tell her no? How do I like? Huh. Give a talk. I don't know. I don't know how I like scold her for doing things. You know what I mean? Are you gonna leave? Okay, get out of here. Go, 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 go. So, so. Okay, so I just like went over the moodlet when she freaked out like that and it said, see what's happening. Like, what What do you mean, see what's happening? Like, why is it such a surprise? Uh, we're gonna go potty train her real quick because she has to go to the restroom pretty soon. <laughs> and I don't want her to go in her diaper. D did that just say go in her diaper? Ah, uh, no. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Oh my god, look, she's like just as clumsy as we are. Well, dang it. I'm trying to figure out how we like scold her for things. I I'm not like seeing an option for that. Maybe I'll figure it out. We can praise. But that's like all we can do. Why is she embarrassed? Oh my god, she's making a mess. There is something going on in my my Sims world right now. She keeps getting embarrassed. Like, what? The, privacy invaded? What? 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 I'm so confused. Okay. Look at her. She was making a mess, right? Oh, here we go. Discipline recent behavior. Strict yell at for making a mess. It glitched out and now the option is gone. Why does she keep getting embarrassed? Who is walking in on you? You haven't even used the restroom. Let's have her go over here and play with this little nightlight. Dag, dag. Why does everything keep canceling? Nothing's working. Here we go. Oops, didn't mean to pause it, my bad. She sounds like a demon. It's not a car, little girl. It's an owl. Oh, she can now look at the pictures in toddler books and play with others at the dollhouse. Aw. Let's have her go, uh, actually, let's go have her babble to herself, because I've never seen this before. Oh. Let's move this back over here. Put it on the floor. Put it on the floor! Oh my god. She's talking to herself about ducks! And rocket girl cheese! Same! Honestly, same. 
Okay, I've spent like the past like 30 minutes trying to fix this embarrassment moodlet thing. I think it's custom content, I don't know. So I changed her outfit. Hopefully, she stops getting embarrassed. If she does again, then I'll just, I'll have to figure it out. Maybe it's not that in the house, I don't know. But um, anyways, in the while I was doing that, she's like literally dying over here, like actually dying. So I think I'm going to um, try to help her out a little bit. Let's give her some food. We'll just give her some fast, like applesauce. Let's go get her. Huh, <sighs> geez, the troubles that I have in my game. The troubles. I was like, don't you dare. I thought she was gonna like, s like kick it off. Oh, that's nice. oh my God, she kicked it off. And now she's sad. Girl, you about to get disciplined. Ooh, you about to get disciplined so bad. How can I discipline you? She already yelled at her by herself. She didn't even need my help. Let's see, can we, we can't like discipline her? So what, she's just not gonna eat? She's just not gonna eat anything. Drink that then. We don't even have a trash can. She has to take it out here. And she passed out. <sighs> it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Let's go put her freaking to bed. What is this doing on the floor? What is going on? Her hair just changed color. Her hair's red now. I'm honestly so confused. Why me? Why does this have to happen to me? Anyways, let's go uh, figure out what in the world's going on with the, the, the haunted mac and cheese out here. What in the world is going on? I need to buy a trash can. Uh, can I even afford a trash can? That is the real question. Uh, where is it even at? Not storage. Uh, oh, appliances, I bet. Yep. Oh, we can. Thank heavens. Get one of these babies. Thank God. Because now we can just drag that in there. Let's go clean this up so it's not disgusting and doesn't trigger me. And then she'll go to bed. She doesn't even have a job. I just realized. We didn't even get that far. Good job. Good job. She could just work on her music, you know. There is a music career. You know what I mean? We could do that. That's an option. But yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna have her go to bed. Oh, hide journal. You can hide your journal? I cannot wait to have teenagers and have so much teen angst. Oh, whoa, she stashed it. Oh my God, that is awesome. Um. In the quiet hours while Sims rest, funny things occur making broken objects their best. Okay, we have gnomes in the apartment. D wonderful. But alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please leave any suggestions that you have or remedies to my glitchy game for some reason. Like I said, don't know if this will be like a full-on series. Might just be like a little mini series, but I am looking forward to it. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!